The first, absolute first thing you're going to need to do before you do any modding for Halo Reach whatsoever is get my modded XCX for Halo Reach and download it so that you can run modded maps. Alright, so I'm going to take this t uh, default t1 underscore mod.xcx, I'm going to put it right in here to my Halo Reach directory, and be sure that when you boot up Halo Reach, you, you boot up the default t1 mod instead of the regular default xcx. Okay, so in order to patch a map for any Halo Reach game or Halo 3 game, there's three things you'll need. You'll need assembly, the actual map that you're applying the patch to, and the patch that you downloaded. So for instance, this one's named Warfare underscore Halo.ASMP. This mod features pretty much, uh, it's actually, it was made by the Xbox Chaos community a while back. Just features some simple edits and a Deserty Forge world. So, in order to apply the patch, really the first thing you'll need is assembly. And what we're going to do is we're just going to drag this .ASMP into assembly. And it'll automatically open the patcher tab. Second step is to select the unmodified map that you're applying the patch to. Which is Forge Halo in this case because that is Forge World from the Halo reach directory and the output map is where you're going to save the patched map uh, be sure you name it accordingly to what the patch name wants you to name it to in this case it already says forge halo right here so you know to apply the patch to forge world itself these three steps are done the last step is to always check this uh, box here because it will include uh, images and info so that your map can show up decently and run and just hit apply patch and it'll say it's been applied. So if we go to our patch folder, you can see that we have warfare halo.map and we have info and we got our images. One more time here as an emphasis, be sure that you have the dot map name right here, the same as the map info name. So images, we'll just be sure that we can actually see the level details in the for in the forge lobby. Alright, so now that your map is patched and all ready to go, you can drag the Warfare Halo dot map into your maps folder. So we'll start with this one. Uh, I already have it, so I'm not going to replace it. For info, that that's fine. You can just, uh, this will open here. And you would drag in the dot map info into there. So you just open up the images folder, pop open this. Oh, that's the info. Oops. Images. And you'd put both of these into there. And of course, guys, to the very end, you're probably most hoping for the moment of truth here. So I got my Xbox loaded up. But yeah, here we go. Warfare World. There's another save I have from it. And this is what you guys should see if you installed this mod or some other mod. Just look through your map directory. It should be there. Alrighty here, and as you guys can see, the map loaded perfectly with no errors. It, depending on the mod that you download, there may be bugs in it. But regardless, it's... This one's working fine, so we got our Phoenix, our Ghost, which isn't modified, but I think my favorite vehicle here is the Roadrunner, so I'll just kind of drive it around just to kind of show what this map has in it. So it was one of my favorite maps to see before I actually got my RGH, so I mean, you know. But yeah guys, thank you for watching, I hope this tutorial helped you, um, be sure to subscribe and leave a like, if you have any questions just be sure to comment down below and I will try to get back to you, I probably will get back to you because I enjoy helping people, so. So yeah, I'm out and thank you so much for watching.